Tell me truthfully, Lyris. How much of this blood is mine? Not enough to be worried about. You did it. I shouldn't be surprised. But things were looking rather bleak before the clouds parted. We held the gate as long as we could, but the Harrow Fiends were a flood of claws and teeth. Once they burst through, Lyris cleaved through them like a scythe through wheat. But even she couldn't stem the tide. I... I'm not really sure. It kind of went wild. Let out my inner beast, as it were. I was rending and slashing. Then Lyris whacked me with the flat of her blade. At least that's the last thing I remember. Not my finest hour, but we survived. The elixir is my next priority, of course. As long as the Harrow Storms are still a threat, we need a defense against them. After that, I want to examine the records we took from Greymoor Keep. I still think there's a cure for the Harrow in there. Sadly, I don't think there's any hope for them. Their life energy was sucked dry, turning them into feral beasts. Restoring them is beyond my capabilities, I'm afraid. At least with the Harrowed, they're not so far gone as to be a lost cause. As soon as we produce enough of it, yes. We saw how it protected Svana. Now, where did I put my flask? So, is it over? What happened to Svargrim, and where's Svana? A parent's betrayal cuts deeper than a sword. But Svana's strong. Stronger than she's been given credit for. And Solitude's going to need that strength in the coming days. If you'd told me the tavern rat we met at the Lonely Troll would become my choice to lead this land, <laughs> I'd have called you mad. Then again, my king's a scald, so what do I know? Come on, there's probably something productive we should be doing. Find out if everyone in the Hall of the Dead is alright. I'll make sure Castle Dower is secured. We did our best to hold the Harrow Fiends inside Castle Dower, but nothing short of stone walls were going to keep those monsters from pushing through. It seemed like everyone I killed was replaced by two more. Almost didn't. We were nearly overrun before Fen went wild. I've never seen him like that, snarling and showing what a true vampire can do. Took the Harrow Fiends by surprise and we routed them. I did have to thwack him to clear his head, though. See you aren't raising bugs with Ismir just yet. We saw the storm. I regret we didn't throw a beret to welcome you back, but I'll cheer enough for a hundred souls if you tell me you put that backbiter of a high king to the sword. But what of Svana? Is she? That's good, but a daughter shouldn't have to kill her own father. Svana has my support, for whatever that's worth. She's going to need all the help she can get in the days to come. Not until we hold a moot to support her claim, and we need more than a single Yar for that to occur. If Svana proves herself as the acting Yar, they might look past her father's failings and make her the queen, eventually. We can settle the matter of the crown when there's kingdom enough to rule. What remains of the holds are still ravaged by the Harrow Storms, and I doubt we've seen the last of the Grey Host, for that matter. 
None good, but none bad either. My wife knows better than anyone how to care for our people. I trust she and my thane to protect and care for Morthal in my absence. We seem to have survived, thank the gods. I thought for certain we were all about to witness the end of the world. No thanks to Svargrim, damn his eyes. After you and the princess went off to Blackreach, I gathered whoever we could and made our stand here in the Hall of the Dead. I'm just glad we don't have to be permanent residents. Far fewer than I feared when the storm began. Thanks to you and the princess, with the storm over and the Grey Host driven from Castle Dower, my soldiers will get the city back into shape. As long as no they're here, they're at the gates. The Grey Host? I thought we were done with them for now. Not the Grey Host, the Scold King, with an army from the east. What treachery is this? To the gates. We'll give the Skull King a proper welcome, one way or another. What do you want? Stand down, you idiot! We come in peace! Partner, could really use your knack for diplomacy right now. Speak to the Skull King before we start a war. Sure save me from fools and prophets. Will no one properly greet a weary traveler? You don't look like one of these Western milk drinkers. Tell them we're not a damn invasion, we're here to help! Maybe you can tell me what's going on. So the rumors are true? Svargrim joined the Grey Host? I knew he had ambitions, but to throw away his humanity like that, it's inconceivable. Svargrim once told me that he would die before welcoming me to solitude. I suppose he was right. That's why I sent Lyris here in the first place. I'm not the king of these holds, though. I can't do anything if they refuse my help. Svargrim despised me. He would never accept my aid. But Svana... Ah, here she comes now. Let's see what she has to say. We have no need of help that involves welcoming your soldiers within our walls. My walls, Jarl. My father may have been willing to slap aside the helping hand. But I'm not. Permit me a word with your envoy, Scald King. Thank you. For holding the line, I mean. I'm ready to do what I should have done a long time ago. To do what my father never could. I'll speak with the Scald King. There's one more thing I'd like you to do while I entertain our guests. We saved Solitude, but our war with the Grey Host is far from over. We need Fen's Elixir more than ever. With that, and King Yorin's help, we might just push these monsters back into their grave for good. Check on Fen's progress, please. That depends on Fen. If there's anything standing in his way, let me know, and I'll do everything in my power to get him what he needs. Fen is with old Mjolin at the Mage's Guild. When you're finished with him, join me in the courtyard of the Blue Palace. I'm going to hold a moment of remembrance for this city. We all need a moment to mourn what we lost. I'm going to invite the Scald King to join us. If the people of Solitude see him bow his head along with the rest of us, they may not care about the divide between the East and the West. Take pity on me. I must finish. What in the nine holes?
ingenious. A rare thing to find an elf with the makings of a clever woman. Despite what my kin might proclaim, it's not all in the blood. Ah, good, you're here. We've made a... I was just discussing a theory with Mjolnir, and it seems like we're very close to turning this elixir into a true restorative. A cure. Singolus's research on the nether root showed me just how it weakens the connection between a body and soul. Thus far, I've been able to inure a person to the root, but now I'm certain I can use that knowledge to heal those weakened bonds. Well, it is just a theory at this point. There's a lot more testing and experimentation to be done before we can produce a viable antidote. Weeks, optimistically? I know, I know. We can't simply put things on hold. Mjoland and I have a batch brewing right now, and materials to keep producing for another day. Ingert's promised us a steady supply of Arke's oil, but that's not our limiting factor. We know enough about Singolus's refinement processes to replicate his methods, but we still need a source of netherroot to do so. Tell Svana that if she can keep us supplied, we can produce enough elixir for all the holds in a matter of weeks. We can ransack Greyhost stockpiles, or mount an expedition into Blackreach. Otherwise, it would take decades of work to produce a proper crop. After we get the elixir squared away, we'll turn our attention to curing the Harrowed. Indeed. As I surmised, the Grey Reliquaries contained the remains of ancient Greyhost warriors. They served as a connection to the souls trapped in Cold Harbor. Using the energy from the Harrow Storms, the souls were pulled into the stone husks. I believe the stone husks are incubators of a sort. The physical forms of the Grey Host are reincorporated within the stone vessels. Through a mix of Zingolus's alchemy and sorcery, and the magic of the Ice Reach witches. When whole, they burst free. I was hoping you'd return before we began. Tell me you've got good news. I'll feel a lot better delivering a speech about healing and hope, knowing that we're on the road to recovery. What did Fen have to say about the elixir? Not the best news, but I'll take it. So long as we have enough to protect our soldiers, we have a fighting chance against the Grey Host. I'll go to the Undergrove myself, if that's what it takes. Now that would be cause for celebration. If he can really bring back even a fraction of those we lost to the Hero Storms, I'm willing to try. That's all I needed to hear. We should begin the ceremony before the crowd grows more restless. 
Nothing fancy, just a traditional Nord wake. To mourn and celebrate those we've lost, and cherish the lives we still have. I'd like you to join us. None of us would be here to sing dirges for the dead or celebrate the living if not for you. I certainly wouldn't be here, ready to leave my hold. You've supported me since I started down this path. I'm honored to have you here at the end. Sons and daughters of Skyrim, we have the honor today of remembering the dead. Honor to the Fallen! Sons and daughters of Skyrim, our trials were fierce, but we are still here. We stand and we remain! Now, we raise our voices to tell Sovngarde of the coming of the worthy dead, and to tell the world that the Nords are still here! We are still standing! The Fallen now march home to Hallowed Hall To join our ancestors in boundless drink and song and brawls Let sound the horns, let peal the bells, let loose the ancient hymn We will remain until time ends, we children of Skyrim <laughs>